Donc, euh, bonjour. Euh, je vais, je vais, puisqu'on est à Montréal, je vais tenter de faire ma pr présentation euh, bilingue. Donc, euh, uh, half English, half French. And I'm going to try to make sure that I say everything that I have to say in English. Since, uh, some of you might not be speaking French. So. So, the objective of my presentation is to talk to you about private uh, foundations, charitable foundations. So, this is a system that we have here in Canada and US. And I think in UK, I research briefly. So, in many countries, um, we use the tax system to uh, um, subsidize private foundations. And um, I wanted to ask myself, since these foundations are becoming so rich, um, are they really charitable? So, based on my research and based on facts, I think we might reach a clear conclusion or an, an, a clear answer to that question. So let's start with uh, with uh, the first question. What is the difference, the difference between public and private foundations? So, okay, so if I take the Heart and Stroke Foundation, would you say that it is a private or a public foundation? Private, public? You would say private? Okay, mm. Professor Christian. Okay. <laughs> so, um, no, the uh, Fondation des Maladies du Canada is a public foundation. What else? La Fondation Lucie et André Chagnon. Uh, Fondation Lucie et André Chagnon is a very popular foundation here in Quebec. Uh, it is um, the richest foundation, and um, for many reasons, um, Quebecers are interested in that foundation. So, would you say that a foundation for the Quebecers, uh, is, Fondation Chagnon, is a private or public foundation? Private. 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 I might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> private foundation. <laughs> So, what else? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Public? Private? Private. 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 So, how do we differentiate a public and a private foundation? A private foundation is controlled by one donor, donor, donor yeah, or a group uh, of related donors. And I think it is quite the same definition in the US. Yes. So in, personally, I am, I am concerned about private foundations. Um, and I concentrate my thinking and my this presentation on private foundation, uh, private foundations. So the question again is, are these foundations really charitable? Do they deserve all these credits or um, privilege, privilege, tax privilege? If we can say so, what is charity? Do uh, people do think that some people know the story and behind this picture? Yes. Yes. Can you help me with my English? I believe the police officer. He's a young police officer in New York. He bought a homeless man who was bare feet a pair of boots. I think it was the winter time or the fall. And some, you know, journalists saw that, took the picture, and it went uh, viral. And uh, everybody were talking about this. So um, apparently, um, the the same policeman just just to tell you, the same policeman went back uh, on. Um, I think it is on Broadway, and he saw the policeman, the, the poor person, again there, but 
not with the shoes. So uh, the policeman uh, went to see the person and asked uh, him, where are your shoes? So do you know the answer? No, I don't. So. No? Um, well, he put the shoes were, were in his bag because he didn't want people to steal them. <laughs> so what is charity? This, the, some people among you, do, do you know this, what this picture means? It's a Roman charity. The, when the Roman uh, Catholic or, you know, religious people at the time were trying to explain uh, in the Roman religion uh, what is charity, they were using that uh, picture. So this picture, I saw it in different, uh, painted by different painters uh, in museums. I chose this one, but so some people know the story. No? So this is the father of, the old man is the father of this woman and he's in jail and he, he cannot, they don't feed him. So she, I think that she came there every day for 20 years to feed her father not to die. So I think it's, in some way it illustrates charity. So I am an accountant. I don't know what charity means exactly. I can feel it when I am charitable. And uh, in French, this is the definition in the dictionary, which means that uh, chaque, la charité est une vertu qui porte à désirer et à faire le bien à ton prochain, uh, le bien du prochain. So it, it, it means that you just want to do good. Um, some people can translate the paper better, but uh, you, you get the, the essence of what, what I'm trying to say. So, again, um, you know, are private foundations really charitable? So, if you, um, if you start to try, try to answer this question, you see that uh, if you compare what um, average people in Canada spend for public services, so how much they pay in tax, uh, what is the statistic of what they pay for donation, so you see that in Canada, average people, they spend 9% of their wealth every year to pop in taxes or in donations. So, so what do you think is the same, the that rate for public, for private foundations? If they are considered to be charitable? 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%.
the interest rate are getting lower, which means in some way that private foundations, they, they don't want to give the capital, they want to give the income of the, of the capital every year. So what does it mean if the only, they are only required to give only the interest on the capital? It means that they are in touch with the capital. They, they can last forever. So, and it's basically the objective. When you, I am a tax specialist, when you sell a mandate of, you know, I'm going to, do for you a private foundation, you say to the person, oh good, you say to the person, uh, don't worry, your capital, your, your foundation will always be as rich as it is when you will start it, because the foundation is only required to spend on charity the income of the capital. So here you see the foundation, the Chanel Foundation, in year 2000, it started with 1.4 billion, and in year 2012, it has uh, 1.4. You see the figure, <laughs> billion. So it it's even rich, rich, richer than when it started. So I feel that related to the current of the topic that Alison brought for this conference, I feel that private foundations is a direct, direct threat to democracy. Um, this is something in French that somebody, I'm so sorry for the people who doesn't, uh, <laughs> some people, some of you can read that in French. Um, do you, can you guess who, who wrote, who said that? <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. He said basically, remember, he was one of the thinkers of all this, you know? So he said basically that private wealth has to be dissolved because otherwise some people can become so rich that uh, it can become a trail to democracy. Democracy. Yeah. So who's, who said that? So for many years, for, for many years, people worried about this threat to democracy. Uh, in the U.S., there has been some important committee uh, analyzing all this. For some reason, some people don't talk about it anymore. So, last thing, please. I mean, so this is threat to democracy. Do you, do you know what is that? The Gates Foundation. So this this thing is taking care of health, human human being health. And you know what are the, the other two buildings? The uh, World Health Organization, <laughs> and the, the, the last one is uh, U.S. Uh, Department of Health. So these, you know, what are these? This is uh, how you say that uh, the um, C St C St Stiller. Uh, um, Seasteading, sorry. Seasteading. So it is a, a threat to democracy because it is managed, because it is a threat to democracy by itself, and also because it is financed by a private foundation. So a private foundation with taxpayer money is trying to create something that will not be democratic. I don't know. So, and finally, just one minute, I need to tell you this. Finally, uh, just to tell you, based on the facts, private foundations cannot be a good thing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you, you have to go see that it doesn't balance the amount. So, uh, you know, for uh, public uh, income, uh, 
private foundation is not a good thing for it. It doesn't help to balance the book. Yeah. Thank you.